Okay, I have to do another video because on that boosting monocular depth estimation because uh, yeah things change quite a bit not every day but almost so now you can do you can run so to get depth maps from uh, single images you can run with and it ex it's explained actually pretty well in the instructions you can run with uh, Midas and you can ru run with uh, I don't know how you said Lores so Lores is just a competitor uh, something similar to Midas so and it's supposed to be better at uh, like um, archi architectural stuff street scenes I don't know how, how well it behaves with uh, like uh, people so we'll see and the nice thing is that you don't have to worry about it it's gonna create uh, both of them so so as, as they say the results will be generated in the uh, out, outputs Midas and outputs Lores folders so I already run stuff but it's very easy to use I mean you just follow what they're saying what I do usually is that I just run this cell separately to create the uh, the directories so once you've done the here, what you do is that then you go into here and you uh, you uh, click on those three dots, four dots, and you upload your images, which I've done here. And then what you do is that you just do a um, runtime, run all, and uh, you just wait for like uh, I mean I had to wait maybe. Oh, 10 minutes something like that the only thing you have to worry about is that you make sure that uh, you're running GPU that's the only thing so uh, once this is done you're gonna get your depth maps in uh, so for the Midas it's gonna be all in outputs underscore Midas and for the Lores it's gonna be all in outputs underscore Lores and then you just have to download your depth maps so let's see so i already done all that so now we can see uh, what the depth maps look like so i t what i did is that i took uh, movie stills from uh, movies like 60s movies i know that's what i like to do i just like to create depth maps from old movies so this is uh, one of them so that's a scene from uh, Zulu with Michael Caine so so that's my input image so now I'm gonna show this is uh, Midas okay so uh, just to you know so that you so that you understand the process uh, that boosting thing is that he's using Midas at different resolution and he's uh, kind of sewing all the depth maps together which are different scale or resolution and you end up with it uh, it's supposed to be better than just to using Midas but I don't think it is better than using Midas I, I prefer using Midas v3 because you can see that you have uh, I mean th the depth map is more detailed for sure but you have errors all over the place it's really annoying like here here okay anyway th it's just the way it is so now okay let's go back to the so now let's look at the we're gonna I'm gonna switch between Midas and uh, Lores so this is Midas and this is Lores okay so the advantages of using Lores is that you get uh, better you get better backgrounds basically assuming you have the people uh, up front so you have more details you, have, you get more detail in the background okay so that's the first one let's look at another one so this is of course Lawrence of Arabia uh, 
Where's this guy? Anthony Quinn. Uh, Peter O'Toole. Omar Sharif. Okay, so let's look at the dev map produced by Midas. Okay, looks pretty good actually. So you can see the the nose of Anthony Quinn. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty good. So now let's compare Midas and Lores. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's more detailed, but you probably have errors all over the place in that guy. Okay, I mean it's not bad altogether. I mean, okay, next one, Sound of Music. Okay, so let's look at the. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that the the Lores death maps you have to invert the color because uh, uh, with Lores black is the uh, front and white is the back, so you have to invert. Okay, so let's look at the let's look at the Midas. Oh the, yeah, the Midas. So again, you get those weird stuff like you see here. Like the the skirt is a uh, wave rain front compared to the the rest of the body. That's really strange. So, and you get some of the background. So now let's look at Lores. Yeah, actually, this one is actually better. Really strange. And uh, as you can see, the background is better defined. Stuff in the background is are better defined. Okay, so let's go to next one. That's uh, West Side Story. So let's look at Midas. I mean, I really like that one. Very sharp. Do we have errors? Probably. Like, look at the arm here. But other than that, it's pretty, pretty good. Okay, so let's look at Lores. I'm sure it's pretty, very good. It's even better, I think. Yeah, very good. And you get you get more detail on the buildings behind. Okay, so that's pretty good. Now let's look at the last one. Yeah, that's another. That's from Sulu, Sulu as well. So let's look at. Let's look at Midas. I think that's very good. It's very good. But you don't get much background. See, everything here is almost black. So let's see. Let's see what Lores does in this case yeah so you get more detail it's more detailed it's more detailed than with Midas uh, prime that is it correct probably not because this helmet looks like to be behind this guy now which is completely wrong but I mean you may have to do some manual editing. Uh, you always need to do some manual editing anyway. So, okay, so I think, uh, what are my conclusions? Uh, I would like to thank first the, the guys that uh, that made that, that software and uh, give us that Google Collab 
that easy to use Google Colab uh, notebook so that we can uh, try the thing at, at our arts content so that's that's very nice and uh, yeah I think it's it's uh, very good and the fact that you can get both both results in one shot that's very nice um, what would be really nice is that if they could update that code and use Midas version 3 because I think they are still using Midas version 2 I don't know if you can see that or not if they are using Midas version 2 I don't know maybe if you know if, you are if they are using 2 or 3 please let me know I think I could probably go to the GitHub page and f find out. Uh, but they're probably using the old version. Probably. Okay, so I think... Uh, I mean, those results are uh, quite good. Quite good. I think you can really run this notebook and get uh, decent def maps and you you ca you may have to spend maybe uh, five minutes uh, fixing the def maps but i think it's uh, it's well worth it so what you can do is that uh, uh, to check the quality of the def map you can use of course the my uh, uh, def player i will put a link in the description but you can also go on Facebook and uh, create a Facebook 3D photo and just post it for yourself. So don't post it to the world. So make the post and then you can check the quality. You did it and you, you, re you rinse and repeat until you get uh, a good uh, a good depth map. And then you can change the, uh, uh, the reach of the uh, Facebook uh, post. You can change it to world. Okay, so uh, I think I'm going to stop here. Uh, I'm very pleased with this uh, new dev development. I think uh, if you had uh, told me like uh, two years ago that you could uh, create uh, such def maps, such def maps automatically, I would have said uh, that you were crazy. Uh, now um, it's getting better and better, and I think uh, I think. Uh, in the future, I don't think you're gonna you're gonna need to uh, fix fix those death maps. I think they're gonna be uh, I think they're gonna be perfect from the get go. So anyway, please uh, comment, like, subscribe, and uh, I will always try to do more videos. Okay, so I'll see you around. Bye.